<laughs> Teresa here with Hippie Holler. Hope you're all doing great today. I just wanted to stop in and make a quick video and show you guys some of the things that I was able to pick up at the bins this past week and um, tell you what I paid for them as well as what the comps were showing that they were reselling for. So, um, like I said, it's going to probably be a pretty brief video, but I just wanted to get something out there to you guys. and. Tell me if I'm wrong, I'm ready for all the critiquing because I'm totally new at this, but I think I have some really good finds, so I was excited to share them with you guys. Super excited, actually, on some of them. Um, but anyways, let's get started, and please remember to like and subscribe because that helps us all out so much, as you know. And um, yeah, so let's get started. The first item I'm going to start with is this Burton jacket. Now it's in really good condition and I did get this at the bins. Now at the bins um, I paid $2.19 a pound and I actually weighed each one of these pieces out so I would know what I actually paid for each piece. And this jacket I paid, let me see, I paid $4.50, just under $4.50 for this jacket by weight. So um, it's very clean and I felt like when I saw it, it was going to be a really good score and it is comping out at, well there's several different ones and I tried to find something as close to this. They vary from anywhere from 30 to like 90. So I figure if I could maybe get 65 and maybe even offer free shipping. I only paid for 50 for it, so that's a really good profit, I think. Um, and I will list it on eBay and Poshmark and go from there. But um, that was my first find, and I was pretty excited about it, especially because it is so clean. I mean, it is like, it's like new clean. So anyways, there you go. That's the first one. The second item... was this Polar Edge, and I'll show you guys the label. Sorry, I'm still learning how to do all of this. So Polar Edge, can you see that? And um, this one does not bring as much as the Burton, but that's okay. And for this jacket, I ended up paying about 350 or just under 350. And the comps I was finding were anywhere from 30 to 60. So I'm thinking maybe I price it somewhere in the middle around $40. And um, that still gives me a lot of room to take offers and whatnot, uh, cause I did only pay 350 for it. So that was a really good find I thought. Again, please let me know in you know the comments if I'm choosing wrong or if there's better items I should be looking at but these were at the bins so it's not really as much pick and choose there as you would maybe like for it to be you kind of get what you get um, now I did find this women's pink talibits which is a pretty good brand from at least what I understand from all the videos I've been watching so I was pretty excited to find this and it's very clean. There's like no nasties on the on the uh, cuffs or anything. There's no holes, no tears, or anything like that. So this weighed out at ended up costing me exactly two dollars and nineteen cents. It was one pound exactly, and the comps were running anywhere from 20 to 65. So I figure I should be able to easily get 30 for this jacket, um, maybe a little more. I will decide later and let you guys know what I ended up listing and selling at. But um, I was really excited about finding this one too. Okay, next I found this super cute Nike jacket and if it would fit me, I would totally keep this. Um, there you go. 
It is a small, I wish it was in a larger size, but that's okay. It's super duper clean, like super, super clean. And this, let's see, this costed me, or this cost me, sorry, a dollar and 10 cents, a dollar and 10 cents. I can't get a soda for a dollar and 10 cents. So when I comped this out, um, I saw prices from 25 to 60 on various different sites, eBay, Poshmark, Mercari. So I figure if I can get 35 to 40 right there in the middle somewhere, that gives me room to take, you know, an offer if somebody wants to offer me something, or maybe I offer them free shipping. And at a dollar and 10 cents, <laughs> That is still a good profit. If, if I'm wrong, let me know, but that sounds pretty good to me. Okay, next I was really excited about this one too because as soon as I saw it and picked it up, just the feel of the fabric, I could tell it was well made because I am totally not familiar with all of the brands and things yet. I mean, I'm learning and I think I'm learning quickly, but probably not quickly enough, so help me out here, people. Um, this was Chico's and it is a size two, which, you know, I wish it was in a bigger size, but that's okay. And it is new with tags. This thing was 149 originally looks like on clearance for $109. Oops. Can y'all see that? Anyways, um, very nice, clean, no damage anywhere that I could find. And um, when I weighed this out, let's see here, give me a second. Okay, this by weight cost me $2.25. So when I ran the comps on that, uh, it was running anywhere from 35 to 50. So I figure if I can get 40 to 45, and that was used, that was those, comps were not new with tags. So I'm hoping I should be able to get 40 to 45 fairly easily for that item that I only paid 225 for. So I felt like that was a really good score. Okay, next I found this. And at first I was kind of like, what is that? Is that <laughs> I know you're gonna think I'm really silly for this. But I was like, is this like a skirt? Like, you know, like a mini skirt for a chick or something? I don't know. But anyways, it ended up being a um, football jersey made by Adidas. And it's super clean. I think it has the tags on it. Yes, it has the tags on it. So, and um, there's the like lining inside, it says Adidas. It's got Adidas on the front. Um, very clean, brand new, and when I weighed this out, this weighed exactly one pound, so I paid $2.19 for it, and I found an exact comp of this one, and I'm not sure if it was used or new, new I can't remember, but at the end of the video, I will post um, some pictures of the comps that I did find on these items, and the only... One of the only ones I found on this was $65. So I paid $2.19 for it. And um, that leaves me with a lot of room for a pretty good profit, even if I sell below that. So excited about this piece too. I'm telling you guys, I got really lucky on this trip at the bins, <coughs> excuse me. And it was a new store that I had uh, not visited, not far from me. So we were really excited to go there last Sunday and um, yeah, we got, well, I got lucky and I'm not even done. And this is only like half of what I purchased that day. And I spent $56, I think, on that trip. So this is looking good. So the next item I found, I knew nothing about, never heard the name brand, but when I picked it up, it just felt like it was well made, like it just, it felt good. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It's called Mountain Hardware. Maybe some of you guys know the brand. Can you see that? So picked that up. It is a woman's 14 and it's called a hiking skirt. 
Still, never heard of the brand, didn't know, but just grabbed it because I knew it was going to be cheap. And if I lose two bucks, I lose two bucks, right? I didn't want to miss out on a score. So when I comped out the skirt, well, first, <laughs> after I weighed it, the skirt cost me a dollar fifty. A dollar fifty. So that's like nothing. Anyways, when I comped the skirt, um, it priced out at $65. I found one exactly like it, and it was used. I believe it was on Poshmark. Again, I will post uh, the pictures that I did find of exact comps at the end so you guys can see. Um, but yeah, that made me pretty excited. Now, if I can just sell these items, you know, without them sitting around for a lengthy amount of time, then I will be really happy to continue doing this. Um, again, you guys let me know if I'm doing something wrong or, you know, what I should expect from items like this. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm willing to listen to all of that information and take it in and learn from it definitely. Okay, so the next four items are all dresses. And I um, weighed all of them and I paid $2 a piece for each dress, um, give or take 10 cents. They all weighed pretty much close to the same. So I will show you those really quickly. This blue one, and all of these items that I found, I, I really lucked out. I mean, they were just super clean. These are actual pockets, usable pockets. Like, women, you'll know what I'm talking about. How many times do you get jeans or whatever, and the, the pockets are just fake pockets? These are actually real pockets, which, I don't know, it made me excited. But this is Banana Republic. And... When I comped this, I found the exact same dress online. And let me see here. It comped out for around $35 on both eBay and Poshmark. So at two bucks, if I can sell it for 30, and again, it is, it's super clean. There's no tears, there's no damage, there's no pulling. There's, it's, it's awesome. So if I can sell this for 30 to 35, at two dollars that sounds like a pretty good profit to me i don't know um i don't know how well banana republic sells but um i know a lot of people that like that brand so i figured mm. for two bucks i mean how can you go wrong the next two really excited me they are antonio milani now they are size four i wish they were a bigger size but i mean you get what you get at the bins and I really didn't spend any time comping there because it was pretty crazy that day and I was pretty stressed out about it. Um, but this dress also has pockets, which I thought was really cute because they are so not visible to the eye. I mean, you, I didn't even know they were there when I got it. I found them today. But uh, this dress priced out or comped out at about $40 and so I'm pretty excited about that. I thought it was really nice. It's really pretty. It can be casual or a little more dressed up. So there's that one. And then this is also, this one here, this is also an Antonio Milani. I don't know if you guys can see that. Sometimes the lighting is so weird. Can you see that? And this one, I found the exact uh, dress online as well. And I should be able to get about 30 to 35 for this one. And again, they're both very clean. I found no damage. The lining looked really great. Um, no stains or anything like that. So that one is another one that I'm pretty excited about because Antonio Milani stuff seems to be pretty pricey and a really good brand. So. There's that. And this last item for today is actually Worthington. Now, I wasn't sure about this. Like I said, I didn't really have time to, can you guys see that? I didn't really have time to comp this stuff out while I was there um, because it was a madhouse on Sunday and 
I may never go on Sunday again. I don't know. <laughs> but it was really clean and it's, it's got a nice weight to it. It felt well made. So I went ahead and grabbed it. It is a size 10. And when I comped this, I was finding prices anywhere from $19 to $45, just depending on what site you're on. I mean, Macari was the cheapest. eBay was the most expensive. <coughs> Excuse me, my allergies are killing me today. But um, overall, I thought it was a really cute dress. It's very clean. And I paid, again, just $2 for this. So even if I were to take $25, or 20 I would still be happy with that because I honestly didn't know what I was picking up so I think it was a pretty good find so overall you guys just on these items alone I spent roughly like $25 so this is like half of my ticket and most of the other stuff was more lightweight it wasn't this the heavy jacket so I think this is probably really like a third of my order for $50 or $56, I think it was. And when I resell these, I should be able to make around, at least around $500 in profit. And I'm just guesstimating because I'm not trying to calculate that on my head right now for you guys. It would probably take me too long. But um, yeah, so there you have it. There is my haul from the bins on Sunday. And it's not even all of it, so I'm pretty happy about it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, please do like and subscribe to my channel. Uh, it really helps me out. And let me know if you want me to do more videos and what you'd like to see because I definitely want to keep the audience happy. Um, love you guys and signing off, Teresa Hippie Holler.